Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Kevin with Bear Creek. Uh, about two months ago I did a video where I uh, made up these foundationless frames. Gonna try something new this year. Um, I, uh, you know, stapled these. These came um, unassembled and uh, and I, uh, I assembled them and stapled them together and then I also uh, strung them up with um, monofilament fishing line. Well today what we're going to do is finish the project up a little bit and um, if you can kind of see this there's a, uh, a cleat right here with a groove in the middle and that's for putting your foundation in for whatever you want. But what we're going to do is create a starter strip. Uh, now these frames that I bought, these are from Man Lake. These come with a cleat on them. And what you do is you remove this little uh, strip right here. You can kind of see that. There's a little strip right here. Um, it's, it's cut out part way, and you can remove the rest. And then um, what we're going to do is invert that 90 degrees, clean it up a little bit, and staple it back in. And I'm going to show you uh, how we do that. Um, all, all it takes is you can use a utility knife or any kind of knife that you want. Um, you just insert the knife in there and you can just follow it along and it just comes right out. Fairly quick, painless and easy. And then you have your little starter strip or your, right here. This is your little cleat that comes out. Now once you have that out what you're going to want to do is if you can see that you just want to clean up this little edge right here uh, of any burrs that occur. If there are any little ridges if there aren't any no big deal and then you're going to want to do the same thing on this little strip here uh, you can just take your 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 knife and just knock off any of those little ridges that that occur it doesn't have to be perfect okay all right now once we do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this strip and we're gonna turn it 90 degrees and I'll show you the, what the profile looks like from this side without it and now with it and uh, and then we're gonna staple that in place and we're gonna I use uh, 5 8 inch narrow crown staples and what you're gonna want to do These are 18 gauge narrow crown staples and what you're going to want to do is hold it in place and put it, staple it at a little bit of an angle. And you only want just a few staples is all you're going to need. Okay, and that's it. Um, you can see, let me turn this around, you can see the staples are in there. You can see how this sits up, gives it a little ridge. And this little starter strip right here, um, this is the top of the frame obviously. This is where the bees will start to uh, draw. Um, let me flip it around here so you can see it. This is. Uh, where, where the bees will start to draw their comb from and they will drop down. Now obviously I have a, you know, as they draw it down, uh, they'll get to the um, uh, monofilament line and use that as a guide, but this just helps them get started. Uh, now also, what they're gonna need, and it's just helpful for them, so you're, you're kind of giving them a clue as to what you want them to do, really. Because uh, you don't want to, you don't want them to start out any wonky comb. Um, so you're just giving them a clue, and it's not. I don't think it's really important that you glob on wax melted on there. 
but what you can do is just take a, a bit of wax these came in one ounce um, bars and just like you do on on your uh, plastic foundation you want to rub that wax right on the top of that starter strip and it just gives them sort of a an idea it's almost like old comb was there before and they can use that as their guide and that's all there is to it so um, you know it takes uh, once you get going probably about uh, 30 seconds to a minute per frame to do these uh, cleats and get that starter strip in there and uh, and then you can use this uh, frame I use this frame these foundationless frames in my brood nest I'm actually swapping them out from the plastic ones it's gonna make life a little bit simpler for maybe cutting out queen cells if I need it uh, I don't uh, spin out any of my uh, brood frames for honey or because they're they're in deeps I will keep using foundation type uh, frames with plastic backing for my honey supers because uh, I don't like blowouts but uh, the bees will uh, they like drawing out their own their own comb and this way again you know the bees can decide the cell size to use whether they want drone comb uh, or they want uh, worker brood comb to build and uh, you know you, you let them bees are uh, are better at it than than we are so uh, you got any questions um, leave it in the comment section uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video if you did give me a like and I hope you subscribe to the channel so until next time happy beekeeping